Hello, this is Chris with the US Galaxy S3.com. This should be a particularly fun video because I'm hand whole because the camera is being handheld the whole time. Anyways, um, still in the process of moving. Um, basically, what we have here is the sprint version of the Galaxy S3. Let's go to the about in the settings, and we're running Phantom Blazer uh, 1.3 uh, based on LF9 now. Uh, my bass band's the old bass band, uh, Victor Papa Lima Echo November, right there, uh, because we didn't have a, a modem update to bring that up to speed until now with the newest uh, update that's come out. So what I'm going to do is update the bass band, update the firmware, and flash the newest version of Blazer ROM. Uh, so I'm going to start with Odin 3. I've already downloaded the latest firmware and modem update. I'll have links to that in the description below. Um, you can see there's a COM port 15. That's probably our device. I gotta power this down. Uh, Blazer ROM does have it already set up to reboot in download mode. We have that available, making it really nice and easy. Uh, if you don't have that available for whatever version uh, ROM you have, just hold volume up home and then hit power uh, after it initially boots uh, you'll want to let go of that so it doesn't kind of boot loop and boot normally so hopefully we'll get into download mode right there we already have the drivers installed in our computer of course so we should see it pop up in a second And I restarted uh, Odin, I guess I need to, and COM port 23, that should be the device right there. I'm going to go to PDA, and I'm going to locate that firmware update, because the firmware update has to be flashed using Odin. Let's see, Sprint, Firmware LG2, and here it is. So I'll put it right there, and now I'll go ahead and click Start. device is going to reset alright let's go back into the settings real quick see what we have you might or not might, might not be able to tell right here I'd have to check the footage and see if anything changed okay the latest modem update in blazer 1.5 rom are on the device in the external SD card. You could also put that on internal. I've also used titanium backup to back up, back up my applications just in case. You could also run a Nandroid uh, backup. Uh, usually I would do that, but I'm a little pressed for time. So I'm going to restart into recovery. Right now I'm not going to wipe anything. I'm going to see if it uh, runs all right. I'm not going to wipe battery stats or anything I'm gonna flash two things before I reboot both the modem update and the ROM update so I'm gonna to go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card of course volume up and down to scroll power to select I'm gonna to go to my Z update folder I just made that folders because it's uh, easy to find. Actually, it looks like I put the modem update on the internal storage, so I'm going to choose it from internal. And there it is, the modem update. Select it. Confirm. Should be quick creates a backup writing new modem install complete now choose it from SD card phantom blazer 
1.5. I'm going to read the latest feature list. The goal of this ROM is to be the smoothest with the best battery life out there. I think I accomplished that. Speaking in the words of Phantom Hacker. I'm going to reboot. Based on the latest OTA update, LG2, thanks to Frieza, Diodex, D bloated, incredibly smooth and stable, awesome battery life. Stock theme for now, sell standby issue fixed. Extended reboot menu, disable scrolling cache. Silent camera, remove annoying sounds such as camera boot up, down, etc. Disabled increasing ringtone, beats audio mod. Jelly bean animations, NFC with lock screen. Dithered uh, hollow background. Call recording, enhanced audio, CPU disabled when. Idle Eugene 373 script. Build.prop tweaks. Change launch launcher priority to 1. Disabled ads. Default ICS keyboard. DRM processes. Uh, DRM processes removed. Removed AMPM from status bar. International boot animations. NAD support. 1x3G mods. Battery tweaks. Speed tweaks. Other miscellaneous mods, tweaks, and hacks. If you check the thread listed below, it also has the change log. So after we boot up, We'll take a quick look at it again. Please thumbs up and subscribe. I'll probably have a better setup come next week. So as you can see, I still have all of my icons and widgets the way I'd originally set them. Right off the bat, it does seem like it's working with no wipe. You can see the baseband is Victor Papa Lima Golf 2, so that's updated. ROM is updated. So it looks like this phone is completely up to date, even though it's running on Cricket Wireless. So for more information about this ROM, please visit the link below. And for more information in general about the U.S. versions of the Samsung Galaxy S3, please subscribe to this channel and watch the other videos here. Thanks a lot.